Hi everyone, my name is Hassan, and in this video we are going to talk about one of the Azure policies. And today's policy is going to be allowed locations policy. If you are not sure what Azure policy is about, I'm going to put a link for a quick video to help you understand what is Azure policy and help you to get up to speed with it. Allowed locations policy, simply it's a way to help you restrict users in your organization from creating resources around the globe. Let's assume that you are primarily work in Australia East region and you don't want your developers to go ahead and create resources in US or Europe or Latin America. Allowed locations policy will help you to achieve this. However, this has few exceptions, like allowed locations policy doesn't apply to resource groups or active directory or B2C directories, also resources that use global region. Now let's go ahead and see how can we implement this policy. Going to the Azure portal here in the Azure policy and selecting allowed locations policy. And then in the parameters, we will get to specify the regions. We want to allow the users to be able to create resources in those regions. And according to this configuration, users will be only allowed to create resources in Australia East region. However, you can select as many regions as you like. Also, you will get to specify non-compliance messages that the users will get if they violated this policy. And then if we go ahead and try to create any Azure resource, let's say functions app, and we try to put it in central US region, in the validation process, even before the resource gets created, we are going to get some errors. And if we dig more into it, we will be able to see that it's been disallowed by policy, and we have the allowed locations policy mentioned in here. And if we go to the raw error, we will be able to see more details, the error message that we have specified before, that you cannot create resources in this region. That's it for allowed locations policy. It's easy, simple, but very, very important, and you should implement it in your organization. Thanks for watching.